what I've just seen is that uh, butterflies are always there, whether it's winter or summer. Uh, in winter, most of the butterflies do not change colors, but they develop more hair in the body during winter. So that's what happens. And in summer, they don't have too much hair because it's always humid during the time. That's what happens. So it doesn't get too cold around. As you can see right now, it's autumn, but still, there's not much cold. Yeah. Yeah. So we still have them. Even in winter, the same thing happens, unless it's June to July. June to July. Yeah, they are there, but they hide because they, they, by the time there's too much wind. Okay. So they are also they also have problem with wind, so they hide under leaves. But during the day when they search for food, no way out. They have to move to the, to, 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 to the flowers as well. Yeah. But they are always there. Uh, yeah. Don't make me laugh, guys. <laughs> About what? That's what you're saying. Yeah. Maybe you should add something to that. No, according to the seasons of butterflies, it's from now I'm not familiar with yeah. the type of seasons. Yeah. But at the end of the year, I will be familiar to all those things. But there is this butterfly that uh, changes its color every season. The Gaudi Komodo. Oh, the Gaudi Komodo. Yeah, they call it the Gaudi Komodo. Yes. yes. Yes, let's talk about it. That butterfly <laughs> seems very interesting. It looks like, for me, it looks like one of the most interesting to know. Because <laughs> that kind of thing, how does one explain it? Yeah. Uh, that one is used to change in four times actually. It changes four times. Yeah, in some it changes in two two colors, but one butterfly. And in winter also two types, but one butterfly. So in summer, what are the colors that? Uh, in summer. Yeah. It changes into bluish color. It comes no, bluish. No, no, there is winter. No, no, it's winter. In summer, it's brownish color. Yeah. Yeah. It like changes cold. into brownish color like goldish color okay yes and I have some bluish passport along the four wings yeah but in the winter it will change into bluish color yeah red, red eyes or which are the fold eyes along the four wings yeah for that butterfly okay yeah, so but the the thing that happens is <coughs> in summer when it is gold or, or like brown but it looks like gold uh, in the wings it only have some scales it doesn't have too much hair even the hair that covers the sides of the body from the abdomen upwards yeah. uh, it has a, a long hair yeah. not close to each other and scattered so that during humidity it, it, it allows the cool air to get in the body but in summer in winter sorry <coughs> it is blue it has the hair that is strong. It is short and close to each other. It doesn't easily move, even if the wind comes. So that hair is able to cover the sides of the body from cold, so that the warmth will be felt in the body of the butterfly. And as well as when you look at the wings, the wings uh, ne near the body, because the wings of butterflies open like this. Yeah. So when they close, when they sleep, they come like this. Yeah. So there are some scales that are like dusty they have too much dust there so the, the, for the blue one in winter yeah. those scales are able to help that butterfly when it's asleep underneath the leaves with the wings folded okay. it folds the wings these scales are able to cover this upper side of the body from cold whereas you'll never get them on the golden one in summer because, as i said it's always humid yeah but the, the, the reason why it changes the color is because of these hair and scales that have to develop that have to develop so that it covers the butterfly from cold it mm -hmm. means a blue color in butterflies in Gaudi Komodo is good during winter in safety okay. from cold and the gold color is good for a Gaudi Komodo in summer where it allows uh, the, the, the cool air to get in the body during humidity yeah. wow but, but for other butterflies they only they only develop hair during winter. 
during winter, yeah, to protect them from yeah, cold. But, yeah, but yeah. the colors are still the same. The colors are still the same, yeah. yeah. And on, on the thorax, pictures. whether it's winter or summer, there will be some some hair. Yeah. On the thorax. Yeah. And butterflies all the time. Okay. So uh, in what season do we have more butterflies in terms of variety? That is summer. Yeah, it's, uh, it's summer. <laughs> Summer. They produce more in summer. Yes. Uh, it's why? Because, it's because they, they like humidity. Oh, they that's, like humidity. Th that's why you never get butterflies in the morning. Yeah. In the morning you wake up half past six to seven. You don't come across butterflies. It's still a bit cold. Okay. But once the sun comes up, you, you will see them. Of them. Yeah. Because they like active. humidity. So they are sensitive yeah. in, in cold. They don't like cold. Actually. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. So is there much humidity when the sun comes up? Yeah. For sure. Okay. They, they like sunlight and humidity. Yes. Yeah. So then you say in the afternoon when we're in the dome, the other time you said in the midday, the, most of them were hiding under the leaves, they were asleep. When they don't see the sun, <laughs> no longer. Oh, no, 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 no. That's in the. Evening when there is no sun. Yeah, yeah. yeah in the evening, the evening. You, you'll never come across them. That's why. That's why you make sure that uh, during half past three to four, yeah. before we close, when visitors come, you start by checking at the door whether they are yeah, still available or not. Because it's also make it without the sun, five of them. So, which is the best time for watching butterflies in the dome? From yeah, from eight. The sun is already up. Yeah. Up to half past three, I think that is the right time. Oh, oh eight to yeah. half past three. Yeah.